is what I love. <laughs> when you have a healthy garden, you get healthy visitors. <laughs> Hi. Oh my goodness, she's so fast. How cool, hummingbird last night. Yeah. <laughs> she's like stranger danger. Boy, she's fast. Holy cow. I don't even see her. Do you? She's gone. <laughs> Where? Oh, okay, yeah. So fast. <laughs> so you are more than welcome to stay. Are you guys some happy ducks? Huh? Are you some happy ducks? What you eating? What you eating? Huh? Beanie, muffin. Baby girl. Hazel. You having a hard time there, baby? <laughs> Back when Jeremy and I had first got married, I, um, of course, immediately jumped into getting pets, getting animals. And we had adopted this old English bulldog. And um, she was one of those dogs that horked food down. And so I have been paranoid about Hazel doing the same thing because I have PTSD from Shiloh, my old English bulldog I had back then, because she was chewing a rawhide and got the end knuckle off and swallowed it and it got stuck. She almost died. So since then, none of my dogs have ever had rawhide, and um, I'm I'm traumatized. But uh, thankfully, Hazel um, <laughs> she chews <laughs> she chews really really well. Look, she gets little pieces off, and she sits there and she chews them. And then Emrys, little scavenger that he is, um, will grab little tiny pieces that fall to the floor that she doesn't see. <laughs> it's the only time he loves her. When he uses her for food like that, ew. <laughs> so gross. Oh, I love my pets, but oh, this floor has constantly got to be vacuumed and mopped because of that mouse. Oh, my first bloodhound was nothing like this one. Nothing. We went into um, a bloodhound purebred puppy. So naive. So, so naive. <laughs> but we love her. Hazel, do I love you? Huh? Do I love you? Did I let you tear up my house with your hair and your drool and your tail and your big paws? Look at her chew. Oh my gosh, it's the cutest, most disgusting thing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> oh, Hazel. I love you. Celestial. What are you doing? Huh? Hi. Are you adventure bunny? And Void is a nope bunny? Nope, nope. Nope, nope. You wanna go check your sister out? What's she doing? Huh? What's she doing? Where's your sister? A black potato. She is a black potato. Shape of a potato. That one is. Put her by Celeste. What do you think? She's, Are you guys big bun buns? She's kind of confused. <clears throat> no, we need to stay out here with them. We cannot leave them out here unattended. Okay. Especially with that beast. Sable, what do you think, huh? There's another baby black bun bun. They're like, oh, it smells so good out here. Oh, did you see them, Sable? Did you see them? She says, hi, look, look. Does she have pellets? Yeah. Yeah, I made sure of that. Thank you. Good job. Hi. 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 
you say, hey, mom, hi, hi. Oh, no, I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> This is mine. Mine. <laughs> she would kill them. It's funny that she does that when, when um, other. It's funny that they do that when other rabbits get aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> they just start rubbing their face on stuff to tell them. Oh my gosh. Fun. They're having so much fun. They are. <laughs> go on. Go the other way. There you go. There you go. There you go. Wild free bun buns. <laughs> what do you think, huh? Back <laughs> Is that fun? Is that so much fun? <laughs> oh, there she goes. Careful, Watch. Okay. <laughs> do not trust Sable. Oh, hello, Void. Hello, Void. Hi. Oh. <laughs> so fast. Be careful. Yeah. Watch her. Stable, I'd pull him back. Yeah. Sorry, that big bun bun and I don't want that. She's a grumper, so we have to watch her. Here's grumper. Here. Here, do you want this? Yeah. I think Sable likes being able to see other bun buns, but I think she appreciates not having to share space with them. I mean, maybe that'll change. I don't know. You know, it's even cuter. My beautiful girl with those two baby bunnies. <laughs> I love it. They're like, this is the best day ever. <laughs> yeah. Because they get to smell new smells because they probably smell willow and cookie. Yeah. That and just having space to run. Yeah. We have all that chicken wire that I just moved over there that we can line the insides of this so that they can't stick their heads through because um, Willow scares me putting her head through there towards Sable and if she gets it in there and then Sable attacks and she pulls back, she could snap her neck. Yeah. So we need to tackle that project. At nighttime, you guys need to grab those water bottles that thaw during the day, and bring them rinse them off, and then put them back in the put them in a bag and stick them back in the freezer, so that they have it for the hotter days like put yesterday was. So that because you're only rinsing it, no bacteria and stuff gets in our freezer. Okay. So at nighttime, when you guys and tell your brother when he comes out to put bun buns away for the night. <laughs> oh, look at her. <gasps> She is so adventurous. <laughs> she has no fear. Boyd is very curious in her. Boyd, maybe you'll be that size someday. Probably not. Probably not. Maybe a little bit close to that size. Don't. Oh, Don't. yep. <laughs> I want to go through there. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That is not good for you. She would get you in a heartbeat. Hello, big watership down bunny. I really do think that she likes watching other rabbits. I think she does. I just, I think she appreciates not having to, <laughs> like Boy, I said, share space. They're having a cotton flab. What's that? <laughs> That's what the uh, glow up judges would say after they've looked at the makeup job that the artists did. <laughs> cotton flab? Yes, cotton flab. Dom, cotton flab? I think so. Let's go. Did she climb up there or did no, you I put her? her oh, okay. 